So I want you guys to get really cozy, comfortable, if that means putting some blocks underneath your knees, or even if you wanted to prop up your upper back and your head with your blocks, you can take that Egyptian pillow position. Hi, Christine. Okay. Let your arms come down by your sides and with your legs long or bent, totally up to you. Take a deep breath in and an open mouth exhale. Try that one again. Inhale, open mouth exhale. Last time together. Breathe in fully, as big as you can. And an open mouth exhale, just to let any stale energy out. You can let your breath go flow in and out of your nose. If you need more grounding just for this very moment, you can place your hands on top of your hips, maybe one on top of your belly and your heart. And just tune into what your body's sensations are telling you. Feel your hands rise and fall with every fresh breath. Just ask yourself what you came onto your mat for tonight. For me, my intention is community. Getting on here with you guys is one of the highlights of my week. But maybe you're looking for connection with yourself, some quiet time, some extra flexibility. Set that intention and then really give it to yourself, whatever that is. Be open to it. Let yourself receive. Last breath here. Take a big stretch all the way up overhead with your arms. And I want you to kick both of your ankles over to the left side of your mat. Yeah, and cross your right ankle on top. And you can let your body arc over to the same side that your feet are on. So you're getting this gentle side body stretch lying on your back. Last breath here. Use your inhale to uncross your ankles and just walk your feet back towards the center. Take your ankles over to the right side. Cross your left ankle on top. Reach your torso and your arms over as well so you get this gentle stretch in your side body. Let your hips stay anchored down. Last breath. And then come back to center. Give your knees a squeeze in towards your chest. Hold on to your right leg. Shoot your left leg long. Feel out your back. Keep pulling up your knees all the way out towards the outer edge of your rib cage. Keep kicking out through your straight leg. Feel your quads squeeze tight. Notice what you feel in your hip or in your knees or maybe you circle out your ankles. And then you can switch it up, pull your left knee in towards your chest, straighten out your right leg, pull up your toes, pull your knee wide, give your hips some room to move, find some space. So if you can find a little low back tunnel, last breath, and then pull both knees in towards your chest. This one's gonna look a little wonky. I want you to cross your right leg over your left all the way. You're gonna kick your feet out wide. If you can pick up your head and reach through for your shins or your ankles, pull and gather your knees in towards your chest. You're using your bicep strength and your shoulders on your back to help pull in to feel this stretch in your outer hips. Try to aim your tailbone down. Keep your sacrum glued to the floor as best as you can. If you can't reach, it's all good. Just feel it out. You can hold on to your thighs. 
Notice if you kick your ankles away and if you pull your knees in closer towards your chest if you feel it more. And then gently release that grip. Switch your legs out, left one over, knee, over the right. Hug your knees in towards your chest. You can grab onto your ankles. You can hug those ankles in and pull up or kick them out a little further for more sensation. Again, shoulders on top of your back. Feel your breath. Last one. Nice. Gently release your grip. You can let your feet land. Do a little tick-tock of your knees left to right. Go slow. Be mindful how it feels in your back, in your hips. When you feel even, pull your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a squeeze so you can start to rock up and down your spine. Give your spine a little bit of a massage until you come all the way up into a seat. I'm going to show you guys from the side what we're doing, but sit up tall. You can sit cross-legged. You can sit on top of your shins. All good, as long as you can find this tall spine. Maybe you put a block underneath your hips. Okay, hands out to the side. Take a deep breath in. Sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, thumbs in towards your heart space. Close your eyes. Channeling your attention again. Pull your spine up long. See if you can feel both of your sits bones moving down. Find that length in your spine all the way up through the top of your head. Feel the energy between your fingertips, between your palms. Keep pulling your breath in. Keeping it smooth. Inhale, reach your fingertips all the way up to the sky. Exhale, drift your fingertips down. Keep reaching. Good inhale, take it up. Exhale, thumbs in towards your heart space. Now listen closely. Inhale, reach your hands high. Exhale, twist all the way over to your right. So let your left hand come on top of your right thigh. Sit up really tall when you breathe in. Do a little arching in your spine, like you're doing some cow pose. When you breathe out, do a rounding in your spine while you're in your twist. Maybe you feel a little bit into your shoulders on the back side. Inhale, lift up your heart, find that extension. Exhale and round into your back. One more time, inhale. And exhale, round it. Good, breathe in and unwind, take both hands high. Exhale, we'll switch sides all the way over to the left. And take a breath in, sit up really tall, extend your spine, lift up your heart. And breathe out and round into your back. So you're using your hand connection to your thigh as leverage. Inhale, lift. Exhale to round. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And breathe in, take your hands all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands can come down on top of your knees or your thighs. I want you to try doing a little bit of a, a barrel roll with your chest and with your spine, just feeling out into those tinier corners. It doesn't have to be big, it could be kind of small. And then reverse it all the way around the other way. Just a couple of times. I want you to feel this drive coming from your core, from your pelvis. Nice. When you feel even, you can lift your knees, guide your feet all the way out from behind you, or to the behind. And walk your hands forward. You find this length in tabletop position. So your hands will be out a little bit further in front of your shoulders. Your knees are still underneath your hips. Curl your toes under. Take a breath in. Pull up your low belly. Fan out your fingers. Exhale. And lift up your knees. Press into your hands for your first downward dog of this practice. Take stillness or take movement. Ask yourself, what is your intention here? What can you feel? Can you feel the rooting down of your palms, especially at the base of your knuckles? Can you articulate a length all the way out through your arms by squeezing your triceps, wrapping them around and down towards the floor? If your hamstrings are talking back to you, Bend your knees, let your hips come up just a little bit higher. So when you bend your knees, you can find more space into your back and keep lifting, lifting, lifting. Let your quads turn on here without sacrificing the, the space and the length in your spine. Stay for a breath here. And exhale out. Good, listen closely. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees. 
Inhale, lengthen your legs again, heels high. Exhale, drop your heels down. Then inhale again, lift your heels up, straight legs. Exhale, bend your knees, press into your hands. Inhale, straighten your knees. Exhale, lower your heels. One more time like that, inhale, lift. Exhale to bend. Inhale, lengthen your legs. Exhale, heels come down. Good, breathe in, pulse yourself forward to a high plank. So your heels can stay stacked up over your big toe mound. Your shoulders are now over your wrists. Maybe you touch your knees down to give your shoulders and your core more support. But from here, keep your tailbone down, belly strong, push the ground away, chin off your chest. Take a deep breath into your ribs. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the ground, elbows close by your side. Untuck your toes, stay light on your hands, inhale, lift your heart. Think lift through the back of your head. Keep your chin tucked in so your neck is long. Exhale to release out of this baby cobra. Try it one more time. Keep that length in your legs. Tailbone down, heart up. Exhale, release. Slide your hands down by your low wrists. And this time we really want you to hug your elbows and your scapula in towards your center. Take a breath in and push into your palms. Lift up your chest. You can take any degree of spinal extension that feels good for your back. But keep your shoulders over your wrists. Long lines here. Push into the tops of your feet if that feels okay for a full upward facing dog. Use your core. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Inhale, lift your heels up, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, take a walk all the way up behind your hands. And keep your feet about hip width distance apart. Inhale, find a halfway lift. So with that lift, you're keeping your knees soft, your heart forward. Exhale, fold it down. Try it again. Inhale, halfway lift. Feel that energy in your hamstrings and your back body. Exhale to release. Try shifting your weight more forward into oh, your toes. Yeah. And if you need a little bit more support, widen out your stance. And slide your hands all the way over to the left side. If you need help with reaching the ground, grab your blocks. You can keep your legs soft with a little bit of a bend, or you can try to straighten them out, feel into your hamstrings, your low back. Try relaxing your head. Take it out. Keep your breath in. Good, walk it over through the center, all the way over to the right. Keep stretching out through your hands or let them dangle down. Use the floor as traction. Keep sliding your hips backwards. Two more. Start to come back to the center. You bend into your knees. Bring your big toes together. Roll it through your spine one notch at a time. Leave your blocks there. Once you stop all the way up, take that big reach all the way up and over your head again. Exhale, thumbs in towards your heart space. Close your eyes. Settle into your feet. Imagine tiny roots growing down, out of your feet, down into the ground, giving you stability and strength. When you smooth out your breath, you can smooth out your heart rate, slow down the thoughts, come back to this moment. One more. Good. Inhale, reach your hands all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, bend into both of your knees, squeeze them tight together, send your hands back. So you're in this little chair with airplane wings, right? So most of the weight is in your heels. You can check by lifting your toes and then spread them out, drop them back down. Keep your belly engaged, long spine. Again, chin off your chest, but not so extended that you're crunching into your neck. Keep that squeeze and lengthening out all the way through your triceps. Sink down a little bit deeper. Maybe a little bit deeper. Let your quads start to talk back to you. Inhale, start to rise, reach all the way up. Exhale, take a forward fold, dive down. Inhale, take a halfway lift, heart forward. Exhale, grab your blocks. Keep your right foot in front and step your left foot back behind you. Lower your knee down to the ground. Once you settle into this variation of low lunge, you want your knee over your ankle. So for this left side or right side, 
we're getting this 90 degree shape here. Keep sliding your sacrum forward, your pubic bone's leading the way so you get big extension into your left leg. Once you find some stability, take a breath in, reach all the way up towards the sky. Maybe pull your hips back some so that you can keep your tailbone down. Pull your belly in. You want to try breathing where your lungs actually are, so in your rib cage. You want to feel your chest going front to back and side to side. Hi to all the people that joined. Welcome. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Take a big breath in. Exhale, pull your elbows out wide. Keep lifting up your heart. Good, take a breath in, reach up. Good. Exhale, take your hands forward out in front of you. And we did this on Tuesday, but try pulling your uh, right elbow back and then stretch it all the way along behind you so that your hands are reaching in opposition front to back. You're taking a little twist. Yes. Keep talking to your right big toe. Tell it to stay down. Good. Breathe in. Take both hands high to the sky. Exhale. Both hands are going to come down. Find your blocks if you got them. And with your left toes curled under, lift up your left knee. Settle into your hips. Find a little bit of buoyancy here. Maybe pull your heart forward. Get a little lighter on your hands. You can stack up your blocks even higher. Okay, so you want to feel this chest lift. A little buoyancy there so that maybe you actually straighten out both of your legs. You can let that back heel come down. It doesn't have to touch to the floor. Let yourself fold down. If you need to shorten your stance, you can. Okay, you can always ditch the blocks to feel more into your right hamstring. Nice work, you guys. Take a breath in and lift up your spine. Bend back into your right knee. I want you to listen really closely. You're going to bend into your left leg and take a big step. You're going to line your feet up right behind each other so that they're pretty much on a tightrope. I want you to bend into both knees so your left knee will kind of sneak into that pocket right behind your right one. And I want you to find this long spine again. Maybe you just stay in this little tucked chair position. You could also just stand if you want to practice your balance and standing. Tricky, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, try sinking back down just because it's fun. Something different. Push your hips back. So you should feel your back leg actually working for you. And if you want to fire up your shoulders and your arms, you can take your arms back, back wide again, or you can take them all the way up overhead so that your biceps are by your ears. Full chest breaths. Yes, one more. Nice. Now stamp down firmly into your right leg. Inhale, lift your left knee all the way up in front of you. Keep your toes pulling up towards your face. Keep stretching out through your fingers. Then exhale, take your hands in towards your heart. Cross your left ankle on top of your right and bend into your right leg so you're sinking down into this figure four stretch and standing. If you need help with balance, you have your blocks down underneath you. Sink down as deep as you can so you start to feel the stretch into your left glute. And if you fall out, all good. Just come back in. Give yourself that grace, the permission to fail. It's not even failing, it's just learning along the way. <laughs> I'm a failure. <laughs> You're not a failure. Watch that self talk, you guys. <laughs> All right, sink down deep. Start to stabilize again through your right foot. Spread out your toes. Remember that little bit of energy coming all the way down through your feet as the ribs start to rise. Take your time. A full reach up overhead first. Knee up in front of you. When you breathe out, let your foot come all the way back behind you. Practice balancing on your right leg. Come all the way down with your hands to the earth. Your left foot's back behind you, so you're in this lunge again. I want you to make space. Plant your hands down. Inhale, step it to a plank. Nice and high on your toes or on your knees. 
get your blocks out of the way. And this time, listen closely. Exhale, go down slowly so that your shoulders are in line with your elbows. They're not diving all the way in front. Keep energizing your back body, pull your core up. Maybe you come all the way down to your belly first. And then you can untuck your toes, inhale, lift up your heart for an upward facing dog. Exhale, curl your toes under, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Maybe one more. Let go of anything that happened on the other side. Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, walk it up or hop it up. Feet land hip width. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Push through your feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Unhinge from your hips, push them forward a little bit. Exhale, hands in towards your heart space. Bonus breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, reach your fingertips high to the sky. Exhale, lead with your heart as you come all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Grab your blocks if you need to. Exhale, right foot steps back behind you. Did you guys notice I flipped my mat over this time? Okay, settle in. Maybe lower your right knee all the way down to the ground so you start to feel this stretch into your hip flexor on the right side. Okay, so left knee is right over your ankle. Settle in just a little bit. Look at your big toe. Tell it to stay down. Stand up your toes. Breathe in. Reach all the way up. Arms by your ears. Put your back knee down if you want. Okay. So while you're here, tailbone down. Oh, I see those hearts. Okay, pull your low ribs in. Take a big breath in. Reach all the way up. Exhale, pull your elbows wide. Lift up your chest, your low sternum. Inhale, reach all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands out in front of you. Just take a breath in to find this neutral spine. Exhale, pull your left elbow back and allow your fingertips to extend back behind you too. So your arms are straight. You're taking this twist from your upper back. So if you tend to have low back sensitivity, really think about drawing your belly button up towards your spine, keeping your hips neutral, facing the front. Last breath. Good inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, hands can come down to frame your foot. Grab your blocks along the way. Curl your right toes under. Lift up your right knee. Settle into your hips. Feeling a bit of the buoyancy as if you could actually let your hands go. You'd be able to find that stability, right? And keep that stretching through, maybe shifting forward and back. Take a breath in and a breath out. Straighten out your left leg. Let your head dive forward. You can take this really long pyramid variation or you can step in your back foot to feel more stable. You can play with going higher on the blocks, keeping your spine upright or fold it down. It's totally up to you. Just be sure to breathe into your hamstring. Last round. Inhale, lift up your heart a bit. Bend into your left knee. And just finding a little bit of balance, you're going to step your right foot all the way behind your left. Use the blocks to help you out. Bend into both of your knees. And so you can find some stability in your feet. Inhale, rise. Just lift up your heart a little bit. Whoa. Then maybe stand all the way up. Keep your tailbone down, belly hugged in. So you can keep your hands by your sides or take a full reach overhead. See what happens on this side. Play with something different. You can stay exactly as you are. You can lift your gaze. Maybe close your eyes. If your breath started to quicken, can you start to smooth it out again? Pull in bigger breaths. Last one. Nice. Start to bend into both of your knees. Take it back just for a sec. I want you to look down at your left toes. Keep them spread out. Keep pushing down into that foot. Whenever you're ready, start to step forward. Bring your right knee with you. Keep your thigh parallel to the floor. Reach high. Pull your toes up. When you breathe out, cross your ankle over. Sink back into your hips again. Maybe you look for your blocks. 
put them out in front of you so you can focus on the stretch versus the balance piece. Otherwise, you can work on feeling out that balance all the way through your left leg. Jay Good in the house. <laughs> Focus on your breath. Smooth it out, calm it down. You got this. Last one. And then slowly begin to rise. Push down through your left foot. Carry your right thigh with you, uncrossing. Reach up. Good. Exhale. I know it's a lot. You're going to slide your foot all the way back. Bend into your left leg so your hands can touch the floor. So from this lunge position, flatten out your palms, take a deep breath in, pop it into your plank, make it really strong, really active. And when you breathe out, lower your shoulders down by bending your elbows tight by your side. Inhale, flip to the tops of your feet, pull your heart forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, lift it all the way up, downward facing dog. Okay, I thought that we might be able to pull that one, one breath per movement. You can always take a break and rest during this part if you want. Otherwise, we're going to try to pull it all together, streamline it, make it flow. Maybe before you go, you let your knees come down to the ground, let your shoulders rest. A little sway into your hips. Don't worry, I'll guide you all the way through. Last one. Fan out your fingers, breathe in, come through a tabletop to start. Exhale, lift up your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels up, gaze forward. Exhale, bend into your knees, take a hop or a walk. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Push into your feet, inhale, reverse all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hands in towards your heart. One bonus breath in and a breath out. Good, inhale, reach all the way towards the sky. Exhale, dive in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the ground, right foot stays in front, left knee comes down. Inhale, reach all the way up overhead. Exhale, take your twist, right arm reaches back. Inhale, both hands high. Exhale, hands down to the ground or to the blocks. Inhale, lift up your back knee. Exhale, take your little fold. Inhale, lift your heart forward, bend into your front knee. Exhale, step your left foot back behind you. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend into both of your knees. Inhale, rise up all the way up to stand. Whoa. Exhale, hands into your heart space. Inhale, float your left leg up in front of you. You can take that reach overhead. Stay right here or exhale, cross your ankle down. Sink it all the way down. Take one bonus breath in and a breath out. Good, inhale, shoot it back up to stand. One legged Tadasana. Exhale, hands come all the way down to the floor. Inhale, step to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga, elbows hugging by your side. Inhale, lift up your heart. Exhale, flow it all the way back, downward facing dog. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, hop or walk. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse it all the way up. Exhale, thumbs in. Steady breath in. Exhale. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, dive yourself down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down. Step your left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, take your twist. Up. Good, inhale, reach back up, facing forward. Exhale, hands come down. Tuck your back toes, inhale, lift up your back knee. Exhale, straighten out your legs, fold it in. Inhale, bend into your front knee again, heart forward. Exhale, walk up your back foot right behind your front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend into both of your knees, find stability. Inhale, start to stand, rise. Exhale to stay. Inhale, let's float your right leg up. 
hands overhead, stay right here, or exhale, cross your ankle over your thigh, plug it in for the standing figure four. Inhale, exhale, and breathe in, float it all the way up, standing, and exhale, step your left, right foot all the way back, hands down, inhale, step to plank, exhale, bend your elbows, use that strength of your arms, inhale, catch your heart up, Exhale, lift up your hips. Way to stretch out your breath. Let's lower down onto your knees. Pull your big toes together. Take it into a child's pose. Try to smooth everything out. I don't know why suddenly it faced the wall. What? I think I pressed the wrong thing. It started to face the wall. Okay. Nice job, you guys. Take a breath in. Lift yourself back up. Walk your knees in a little bit. Do a little sway left to right. Wag out your low back, your tail, your outer hips. Maybe you stay a little bit on one side. Push into the outer hips. You can try the other side. All right, one of my favorites. I like to enter from a tabletop, but if you guys prefer to do a three-legged dog entry into a half pigeon, you're more than welcome to go there. I just like this one because it puts a little stress off the shoulders, and you get to feel yourself take this big external rotation. So we're going to do it with your right leg first, right knee towards your wrist or your forearm, kick your ankle out over to the left, and then soften your shin down. So just depending on how much your hips actually move, that's where your shin's gonna land. And I want you to lengthen out your leg all the way behind you. Double check on your toes, see that they're doing the same thing. Then use your hands, breathe in, lift up your heart. Listen closely, breathe out, roll your spine down. You're gonna stay on your hands. Yeah. Inhale, rise. Exhale, roll it down. Feel every single in your body, inhale, lift, and exhale to lower. You can stay on your forearms, you can put a block or two underneath your chest or your head. Come back to your smooth breath, even though your belly is down on top of your shin, and your thigh perhaps. Breathe into your sides and the back of your heart. Soften your jaw. I want you to check in with your entire body from your fingertips, down your arms, through your shoulders, your trunk, all the way out through your back leg. When you use your breath in, crawl your hands back underneath you. You can take your left toes under, so you can scoot your knee in, slide your right leg out from underneath you. You can kick it up behind you. You can roll out your knee. You can keep your knees down. Do that swivel of your hips again. And we'll try the other side. Your left knee is going to come through right by your wrist. Kick your ankle out towards the right, let your shin land softly, and just be really mindful of your knee as you scoot your hips backwards. So that kind of looks like scooch, 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 <laughs> okay? Take a breath in, lift up your heart. Exhale, fold yourself down, feel your spine go like a wave. Inhale, lift up the back of your heart, followed by your head. Exhale, lower it down. Feel into your hip, one more. Exhale, roll, roll, roll. Softly land. Take the time, take the space. Thank you. 
still coming up for you? What can you begin to let go of so you can really follow your intention? Put in your most purposeful effort. Start to crawl your hands up slowly underneath you. Scoot your right knee in back behind you. You can just lay your shin out. Do a little wave of your hips so that you can come all the way over onto one side, feet out in front. Walk your glutes to the middle of your space. Take a breath in, lift your heart up. Your hands can help you out here. When you breathe out, roll all the way down into your spine, one vertebrae at a time, maybe pausing on that nice good spot into the rounding. Once you land, walk your heels in right behind your glutes. Hopefully you have a block nearby. With your feet right behind your hips, lift your hips up. Right. So the block can come underneath your hips. And you can either stay right there in this supported bridge or you can actually lift your feet up towards the sky. And take time to decompress. Let your legs feel really weightless here. You can bend your knees. Slowly let your feet land down to the ground. Pick up your hips, slide the block out. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Ask yourself if, there, if there's anything else that you'd like to add on. Maybe it's a happy baby or one more twist. Watch the thoughts that are going through your head. Give yourself some appreciation for showing up. When you're ready, give yourself a big hug, a big squeeze of your legs. Big sip of air in. Exhale out of your mouth. Lengthen yourself out. Spread across your space. Take it up. You deserve it. Squeeze your quads, squeeze your triceps, maybe your hands and your feet, maybe your face. Breathe in. Exhale and let that tension go. Find 10 last intentional breaths here together. Allowing for a full release where you're available to listen and just hear yourself.
fresh oxygen. Move yourself slowly, still intentionally. Remember how you show up here is how you show up everywhere. Be mindful as you wake yourself up. Bend your knees, roll over onto one side. Catch yourself right here. And take yourself into a gratitude of attitude. Or an attitude of gratitude. Find one thing you are grateful for. Once you have that thing, pull yourself up into a seat. on your shins or cross-legged up to you take your hands in towards your heart space we'll complete the practice with the breath together inhale and then open mouth exhale thank you so much for just showing up being a part of my community our community it's what we love to do so we're just so happy that you're able to join from our heart to yours. Namaste. Namaste.